Um, today I'll be talking about how to renew your Nigerian passport here in the UK. Hello amazing people, welcome back to my channel. It's Uche Agro here. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, comment and share the video. So, and today I'll be discussing how to renew your Nigerian passport here in the UK. Um, I'll run down the steps for what you can do before your application, during your application, after your application, and what to expect on your appointment day. The first step is to get your NIN. NIN is your national identification number. You just have to find a center close to where you're currently living. And I'll put the link below on the list of centers in the UK. Um, some of them are walk-in centers, some of them you need to book an appointment. However, I would suggest to call the number on their website to find out which one is applicable to the center of your choice. This is the National Identification Management Commission website and it's showing a list of enrollment centers in the UK. You can have a look and see which center is in the city where you live or any center that is in the next city close to you. I will put the link in the description below. On the day of your NIN capturing, please go with your Nigerian passport as a proof of identification. And if you're going in to do a change of name, please go with the necessary documents required for you to change your name, such as your marriage certificate, your proof of change of name. It could be your newspaper publication or your court wedding certificate. And yeah, you'll, you would have a printout of your NIN slip given to you or sent to your email. Please ensure to print it out. Some of the centers give you an email to, to ask you to send an email to that contact, asking them to validate your NIN. They would reply you and tell you if your NIN is validated. If your NIN is not validated, the Nigerian High Commission would not be able to see that from their end um the second step is for you to apply for your passport renewal and to apply for your passport renewal you would go to the nigerian immigration service on this website you would log in you can log in using your google id select standard e passport and united kingdom fill in the application form and then you can proceed to make payments i'll put a link in the description below you will select the standard e-passport and select the location to be um, United Kingdom. That's the country to be United Kingdom. Start your application, fill in the application form. Um, it would ask you to log in. You can log in with your email address. Preferably, I logged in using my Google ID and then started my application. Once you fill out the application form with all your details, you would be asked to pay. Once you pay, print out your application form and the proof of your payment. You would, you would be given an application ID and a reference number via your email and on the dashboard after your application. Now, the third step would be to book your interview appointment. And to book your interview appointment, you would click the link below to go to the Nigerian High Commission website, click on immigration, and then book an appointment choosing e-passport. This is what the website to book your appointment looks like. So choose the appointment slots by entering your application ID and your reference number. So basically you would enter your application ID and your reference number from the previous stage, select an appoint appointment slot, pick a day that you're free because these dates do not come by so easily. So I booked for my daughter in december and i'm getting a date in march that's how difficult it is once you've booked your appointment please print your appointments booking slip the fourth step is for you to prepare for your appointment make sure to print out all your documents required for your application so now we've talked about the nin so print out your nin print out your application form print out a proof of your payment print out your appointment slip. You would also be required to go with your old Nigerian passport. Additionally, you would need to go to the post office to purchase a postal order. 
So that postal order will be addressed to the Nigerian High Commission. For the post office close to my home, you would need to pay cash when you get there. The postal order is £20 and an additional £3 for the administrative fee, I think. And then you would also purchase a Royal Mail C4 special delivery envelope. It just looks like this. This is what the High Commission will use to send back your passport to you when it's ready. With this one, you can pay with your card. So there's no physical collection once your biometric has been done. On In front of the special delivery envelope, you'll be required to write your name in capital letter and your address. And then you would see uh, a space where you will write the sender's address, which is the high commission. You are also required to write that by yourself. I would advise to write it with a black pen so it doesn't it doesn't spill or it doesn't it doesn't clean. And then also go in with your expired or current passports. Please go in with a pen. Otherwise, you'll be asking people, "Oh, can I use a pen? Oh, can I use your pen?" Go in with your pen. You will have some things to write or some forms to fill on that day. For me, I did a 10 year passport for myself. And this is just so that I, in the next five years, I'm not running back for this process. And it cost me 209 pounds for it. For the NIN, it cost about 50 pounds at the center where I went for my daughter. And then on your appointment day, if you have, uh, on your appointment day, this is a fifth step. If you have booked a 9 a.m. slot, you would want to be there as quickly as possible. Some people even arrive before 7 a.m. On the day of my point appointment, some people arrive before 7 a.m. And the queue is usually very long. Um, on that day, you can bring in your water or your snacks. If you have none of that, they have a canteen where you can go to buy those things. It's currently cold in the UK. So go with warm clothes and have a trim. Just exactly how you want to appear in your passport in the next five years or 10 years, depending on the application you want. And just look good. If you forget anything, please ensure to bring in enough cash and all your documents. If you don't have those documents printed out, you would not be allowed to go in. They would not accept an electronic form. They would want to have the hard copy with them. So for children who are under 18, in addition to what you're going in with, you would need to go with a consent letter written by written and signed by both parents. And in the case of a demise of one parent, you would need to go with a copy of a death certificate. Um, that's basically it. I wish you all the best. Um, if you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to respond or to guide you further if you are confused. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. See you in my next video. Bye.